Now, have you ever been a victim of online abuse? And do you think this issue is becoming more common? Well, our next guest has received abuse for simply posting gym workout pictures on her social media account. Uh, you'll recognise her. She is Sky Sports presenter Anna Warhouse. Morning to you, Anna. Um, now, obviously, I follow you on social media and I'm used to seeing you in the gym. When you're not on the telly, I'm in there you lot. work out and you look very good for it. Um, but recently, there's been a bit of a backlash to pictures you've posted. Talk to me about what's been happening to you. Yeah, I mean... I am in the gym a lot and I do post a lot on social media because I am all for promoting a healthy lifestyle. You know, I actively lift weights and I'm all for encouraging more women to do so. Um, and, you know, I get the job I do. I know I'm on, on TV and, and kind of that opens yourself up to a, a, lot, a lot of criticism. Mm -hmm. And you get the odd comment about the way you look and you can kind of take that on the chin a little bit. Mm -hmm. But over the weekend, I received a level of abuse that is just unacceptable, really. You know, um, wishing me dead, bringing up horrible things about my family, you know, bringing up a subject that's very, very painful to me about my brother and, and his death and just body shaming me in the mm -hmm. most horrific way. Because... You lift weights and some of the comments you were getting were, you're too muscly, mm -hmm. you don't look very feminine. Yeah. Um, and another sports presenter, Kirsty Galler, um, posts a lot of gym pictures as well and she's come in for this kind of abuse. It's talking about women and what it is to be feminine and that must be really upsetting because you look but, fantastic, but you've what got is a healthy feminine? body, exactly. What is feminine? You know, what, what one person might deem attractive or feminine or the perfect ideal on how a woman should look it is not necessarily what another person thinks. I train for me mm. and for me alone. And I also train for a lot of health reasons, like I said, and, and for my body and my mind, you know, that's massively important to me. But I certainly don't train to look like a certain way. It's just a result of the training. But, you know, what, what, is, it, what is right for some guy to say, or some, some woman to say, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who it is, that you're too muscly, or you're too fat, or you're too thin. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it? Because when you get negative comments on social media, you're told to ignore it. There's a mute button, there is a block button. But it reached peak for you over the weekend. What can you do about it? I mean, obviously, you replied to some of these trolls and you retweeted some of their comments to say, I'm not looking for sympathy, no. but I just want to highlight what is going on here. Something needs to be done. And that is the problem. Even though you can mute or block them, there's no punishment for these people. Absolutely nothing. They, they can hide behind your keyboard. There is no profile picture. You can't trace these people. And yet, you know, they, they think it's all right to say these horrific things to your face. If someone came to you in the street and said, I wish you dead, or some, said some horrible things about you, you know, the police would probably be involved because it, it wouldn't be allowed. So what makes it okay to be allowed on social media? And, you know, yes, we do get comments in the public eye. You, you are kind of, I guess, some people might say fair game. Mm. But to what extent you you can brush off certain comments but i'm only human do you think so, social media companies need to do more they will argue absolutely. there is a block button or a mute button but you know the, the nature of it is people will set up other accounts and then carry on tweeting you absolutely there, there definitely needs more to be done absolutely i mean whether the a lot of people have come out of this i mean there has been the the positive that's come out of this i've had some amazing support and some amazing comments since what's happened but you know the, the common consensus seems to be that people have said, what about being everyone being verified? Mm. Would, would that be a solution? Mm. So you can trace where these people come from yeah. and make them responsible users. And the question is, not everybody is as robust and thick-skinned as you, because like you said, you take it as part of the job. But of course, there are certain things that's, that are going to get to you. But if that abuse is targeted at a young, vulnerable boy or girl, the effects can be devastating. Absolutely, and, and since this has happened, I think you know, when you get the odd nasty message or when I've had the odd nasty message in the past, you do brush it off. I'm not going to lie, it does get to you. I am human and, and certainly on the weekend it was really bad. But this is highlighted to me of going, you know, I am lucky that I, I did post it out and think enough's enough and so mm. I'm going to put it out there and I got an amazing response. Some people don't have, you know, friends, family or, or, have, or have that platform yeah. for, to be able to do that. and and. Really sadly, it sometimes ends in really grave circumstances. Does it make you want to come off social media? I thought about it, yeah. And you've decided to stay on it because yeah. 
because the nature of it is you know, for your work, for your work, it is part and parcel of being on it. But do you think you will now change the way you post pictures? No, I, I'm not going to change the way I post pictures because, like I say, I, I do it for me. And also, if me posting a workout video makes one person get off the sofa and go to the gym or lead a healthy lifestyle, if I can be slightly motivational for them, then that's brilliant. I, I'm kind of doing what I set out to do. And also, my social media is kind of for me. I, I enjoy doing it. Um, so I did think about it, but no, I'm not going to come off and I'm not going to change. Well, I'm glad you didn't let them win. Anna, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your experiences. I'm sure it will resonate with many people at home. Um, what's your Twitter handle for people who want to get in touch with you in a positive way? <laughs> that has, I've got a lot of yeah. positive response and that has been the good thing that's come out of it. It's at Woolly Anna. There you go. And she is staying on social media. Thank you very much, Anna. Lovely to see you as always.